What's up guys and welcome or welcome back to the channel and in today's video as usual we will be taking a look at some of the upcoming Air Jordan releases for the month of April 2021. Now the lineup is looking really great we have some really good sneakers coming up as well as a rumoured sneaker that I will be mentioning later on in the video. Now before the video begins I would like to say a big thank you for all the support towards the channel lately we just hit 5k so thank you very much but anyways in today's video we will be discussing discussing when and where you can expect these sneakers to drop and whether they will sell out so let's get straight into it all right so kicking it off on the 1st of april we have the air jordan 3 electric green which will be releasing in kids sizes only with the grade school pair retailing at 140 dollars and the preschool and toddler pairs retailing at 80 dollars and 60 dollars respectively now as for where to cop you can expect to cop these in your usual foot size. I do expect these to sit on shelves though, due to the fact that the sizing is limited to a US 7 at its highest. Next up, on the 3rd of April, we have the Air Jordan 12 Easter, which will be releasing just in time for Easter for a retail of $190. There will also be a grade school pair retailing at $140. Now, this sneaker features a predominantly white leather body with hits of blue and black, as well as blue metallic eyelets. Now, it is looking like these are going to be highly stocked but if you do want a personal don't sleep as these are likely to sell out due to the really clean colorway coming up on the 10th we have the air jordan 5 raging bull which will also be releasing in men's and grade school sizes and possibly preschool and toddler sizes as well the men's pair will retail at 190 dollars whereas the grade school pair will retail at 140 dollars it is looking like they are going to be one of the more popular models for april due to their resemblance to the 2000 2009 model which has since been really popular. I would also expect this sneaker to sell out instantly and if you are looking to cop them expect sneakers along with JD, Finish Line, Foot Locker, East Bay and many more retailers to drop these. Moving on to the 15th, we have our very first women's Air Jordan for the month and this is the Air Jordan 3 Rust Pink, coming in at a retail of $190. Now this sneaker comes in a pink suede as well as the signature elephant print that is seen on the heel tab and toe of many other Air Jordan 3s. Now expect this release to come in women's sizing which means that you'd probably have to add 2.5 to your usual US size or 1.5 to your usual UK size. Next up on the 17th we have a really hyped up release and this is the Air Jordan 1 High OG Hyper Royale retailing at $170. Now this is probably going to be one of the most hyped up colorways for the month and I can probably see it being the Jordan if not the sneaker of the month. Looking at current resale it is looking like it is going to be really difficult to get these for retail so I would suggest entering as many raffles as possible to maximise your chances. If you are in the EU I would expect retailers such as Boston, Size, Offspring and many more to be holding raffles for these and also expect a sneakers app release as well as a Foot Locker first come first serve release which is usually really heavily botted so you probably won't have as high as a chance if you are going to try as manual and also they could possibly be a JD first come first serve release as we saw for the Air Jordan 1 Dark Mocha and the Air Jordan 1 University Blue. Now if you are going for this sneaker good luck as you will probably need it. Moving on to the 24th, we have the Air Jordan 11 Low Legend Blue, which will be releasing in full family sizing, with the adults pair retailing at $185, the grade school pair retailing at $130, and there will also be a preschool and toddler pair releasing. Now this is another sneaker in the white and light blue colorway, very similar to the Air Jordan 12 Low Easter. This is just a rumored release as of now, but if they do drop, expect it to be a very popular colorway for April. Next up, we have another sneaker in the light blue colorway, and this is the Air Jordan 4 University Blue, rumored to release on the 28th of April. Now this release may get pushed back, but as for now, they have been scheduled for the 28th. This is going to be a really sought after sneaker, especially since the recent rise in popularity of the Air Jordan 4, paired up with the really clean colorway. Expect these to sell out instantly and, you know, in terms of retail, I'd probably expect it to be double off the retail. 
Okay, so last up we have a sneaker that is yet to be confirmed. This is the Travis Scott Air Jordan 6 British Khaki, which is rumored to release in late April. Now being a Travis Scott X Nike collab, I would expect this to be extremely popular and probably a really difficult cop. All right guys, so that is it for today in terms of Air Jordan releases. That is everything we know as of now. Definitely looking forward to all these light blue colorways releasing in April. Those are probably gonna be some of the top sneakers for the month, but which sneakers would you be targeting? Definitely comment down below and I'll see you in the next video.